Hello, I'm Rene Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, driving the Pocket PC, Windows 11 Pro, if it's running on it, off a battery pack. The Pocket PC has a low power requirement of 30 watts. That It's low, but far exceeds what a typical USB charge pack can produce. In addition, those charge packs don't have an AC outlet. Uh, this particular battery pack I do, I'm using here does have all of that and it can produce up to 85 watts of AC power. I have a video on just the battery pack itself, but in this video you'll see it in action driving that pocket PC. So let's get right into it. Okay. I have my... Uh, charger here it's at 100 percent uh charge and you see the ac is enabled i enabled it with the ac on off button and the green led indicates that it's there and i will connect the charger or not charger but the power cord and this is to the pocket pc the one I was showing earlier, that's uh, 8 gigabytes RAM, 256 gigabytes of M2 SSD, mini sized. Using an Intel J4125, that's a quad core. Quad core, I should note, Celeron. And I'm going to go ahead and connect power. And uh, there's the power on button. And as you see, a blue LED indicator. It's powering up now. Should be. Uh, <clears throat> this is a low power requirement, but it needs 30 watts power, and 30 watts is more than a regular USB charge pack can do. And a regular USB charge pack doesn't have the AC. Uh, so this one I got on Amazon. You have a video on that I can produce. And. Uh, and I'm ready to connect it to my monitor. <clears throat> okay. And uh, there you see the uh, Okay. Now I will go ahead and launch um, GeForce Now. And the objective here is going to be to gameplay off this and see how long, for how long I can, I can run. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be playing uh, GeForce Now Raft multiplayer. going to connect a gaming mouse. Okay. And join world. And connect my headsets. And I will connect them with a uh, this Turtle Beach. And uh, it's this stealth uh, 700 Gen 2. Okay, let's see. 44 minutes into game time. 92% usage. Okay, after two hours of cloud gaming on this off this battery. The pocket PC, uh, well, the battery's drained down 48%, 52% charge remaining, two hours. It says you get 3.8 hours of use at about 20 watts. 
Um, the pocket PC that you see right here, uh, that one is a 30 watt draw. Um, and after two hours, the top surface is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The bottom is 123. And the app uh, for the core temp, let's see here. Yes, let's see here. Is one hundred and seventy two degrees Fahrenheit. So the pocket PC does generate heat, and the bottom side is definitely. Uh, warm to the touch the top side here not so much and I can f I can feel the fan blowing out here uh, kicking out that trying to dissipate that heat and uh, I can get one of the LED beams inside the fan a little bit warmer there at 128 degrees Fahrenheit well, after uh, four hours of, or nearly four hours of uh, gameplay, two hours of the raft, and uh, two hours of Fortnite, all on GeForce Now, um, there still remains 18% uh, battery charge. Uh, the unit itself here, let me take a measure uh, temperature on the top, 110 degrees, it stays warm. Bottom side, 127 degrees. And um, if I launch the Core Temp app, um, Um, we see there it's running uh, between 171 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I did have to reduce the Fortnite gameplay down to 60 frames a second um, as it was getting a little bit choppy here playing that on a Celeron, uh, J4165 is the, is the model of it on this Pocket PC. Uh, the Pocket PC though is uh, holding up well under some stress, which stresses the CPU, the memory, the solid state drive, and of course the GPU, onboard GPU. But it's performing well. Um, and so, my proof of concept as to whether or not I could operate the Pocket PC uh, with the quasi-mobile is, yeah, it is doable. I have the battery pack here which can power it. Uh, it's not something I do uh, every day, actually, because of, of the weight of this. Um, the exact weight I need to look up on the specs, but just feeling it, it's at least one and a quarter pounds. Okay, well, at least this part of the proof of concept is is holding up, and of course, you're getting to see a real good view of the Pocket PC in action, Okay, in case you're looking at getting one. Okay, well, there you go. You see that you can in fact drive it uh, for, um, I was able to
do it four hours of gaming. Of course, it made my mind feel like mush. But the point was to demonstrate some kind of constant stress to the system for RAM, uh, the CPU, the GPU, and disk. And gaming is a good uh, stress test in that regard. And the battery pack delivered. Okay, so um, please, if you uh, like the video, give me a like and subscribe. If you have your own channel, I'll be subscribing to your channel as well. And watch your content and leave likes so that we build each other's channels up like good neighbors, right? Until next time, bye-bye.